This is Gene Key, KDDD, Texas News. The Associated Press reports a former county judge in El Paso and three other men have been arrested by federal agents on public corruption charges. An indictment unsealed Friday charges former county judge Anthony Cobos and businessman Lorenzo Aguilar with three counts of mail fraud by allegedly receiving bribes to influence the refinancing of $40 million of the county's debt. County judges in Texas are top administrative officials. Another indictment charges businessmen Ruben Garcia and Curlo Lara with 11 counts of theft of federal program funds, mail fraud, and deprivation of honest services. They are accused of receiving $550,000 from a federal-funded program, failing to provide the services required, and using subterfuge to deceive the evaluation component of the program. From Austin, the Associated Press reports the unemployment rate in Texas has continued a steady decline to 8.1% in November. Figures the Texas Workforce Commission released Friday show the rate as an improvement over October's 8.4% and below the national jobless rate of 8.6%. Commission Chairman Tom Paukin says 9 of 11 major industries added jobs last month with leisure and hospitality out front. The Brownsville-Harlingen area had the highest unemployment rate at 11.2%, while the lowest at 4.1% was in the Midland area. KHOU.com reports from Hutto, Texas. An Amtrak passenger train headed to North Texas collided with a truck at a crossing in a northeastern Austin suburb Sunday morning. Other vehicles may also have been involved, but there were no initial reports of injuries. The accident happened near the intersections of U.S. 79 and under Highway 130, just west of downtown Hutto, on the route of the Texas Eagle. The service operates daily between San Antonio and Chicago with stops at Fort Worth and Dallas. If you would like the latest Dumas, Panhandle, and Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow KDDD News on YouTube. Simply search KDDD or Gene Key on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key, KDDD, Texas News.